Hello, welcome to this video about statistics with Archiwar and the package Archive teaching. In this video, we're going to see how to perform um, a NOVA test and analysis of variance test with Archiwar. Well, as usually, first open your booklet with the practices and go to practice 12, analysis of variance. Well, and let's go to exercise one. In exercise one, a study tries to determine the effectiveness of three therapeutic programs A, B, and C for the treatment of acne. So the participants in the study were randomly divided into three groups and the treatment was applied to every group. After 16 weeks of treatment, the reduction in the percentage of acne lesions is shown in the following table. So we are measuring what is the reduction in the percentage of acne lesions after 16 weeks with each treatment, yeah? treatment A, treatment B, and treatment C. Well, first, we are going to load the data set, and we are going to load the data set from the Archie Teaching Package. As usually, first you have to load it, go to Settings, Manage our Packages and Plugins, and here look for Archie Teaching. Here, Load, and OK. Okay, after this, go to the Workspace tab, and here in other environments, you will see all the packages and in particular the Archi Teaching Package. And the name for this dataset is Acne. Here you have make a copy of this dataset to my workspace, just right click copy to global env, and now you can open this dataset. So if you have a look to the dataset, it contains the variable, the first one, Mejora, is the reduction in percentage of lesions and it's in Spanish so I'm going to change the name for this variable reduction and the second one is the treatment and it contains three levels it's a factor with three levels one two and three and I'm going to rename this as treatment A B and C as we have in the exercise okay now in part B, it does for plotting the means of the reduction percentage of acne lesions for every treatment. So for that, you have to go to teaching charts and means plot. So let's go to teaching charts, means plot. And here, all you have to do is select the variable that you want to plot the means for, that is reduction. And here, submit. And finally, I want to plot the means for each treatment, so I have to check this box, plot by groups, and select as a grouping variable the treatment. Okay, that's it, submit, and here you get, this is the plot of means, and you have the three means in different colors, the mean for A is the smallest one, while the mean for B is the highest one. Well, in this case, I think is uh, very clear that there is a significant difference between the treatments. It's clear that the best treatment is treatment B, while the worst is treatment A. So anyway, we're going to perform a, an ANOVA test in order to compare these three means. Remember that an ANOVA is a test for comparing means for more than two populations. This is part C. So in order to perform an ANOVA test, First, you have to go to teaching, parametric test, means, and ANOVA. Let's go to teaching, parametric test, means, and ANOVA. And here, select the whole data set that contains the variable that you want to test. That is, and be careful because you have to select the whole data set, ACNE. And here, select as dependent variable the reduction and percentage of lesions while the between subjects factor, here's so the variable that you want to use in order to split the sample into the groups that you want to compare, that is treatment. Okay, that's it, submit, and here you get the ANOVA and test. And the p-value for the ANOVA test appears in the first table here, just here, that's, as you can see, it's very, 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 very small. Uh, the reason is because the difference between the means is very clear, very, very, very clear, as we've seen in the previous plot. So according to this p-value, since this p-value is 
is less than 0 0.05, uh, we can reject with a strong confidence the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis in the ANOVA test, remember that there is no difference between the means, so I can say that there is a clear difference between at least two of the means. The next step is to compare the means two by two. For that, we're going to run again, and here select pairwise comparison tab. And here, I want to check pairwise comparison of means. Submit, and here you get another table, the pairwise comparison of means, and here we have the comparison of uh, population of the mean of populations two by two. In the first row, we're going to compare treatment A with treatment B, and as you can see, the p-value is very, very small. So I can reject the null hypothesis, and I can say that there is a significant difference between the means of the two treatments. If you want to see which treatment is better, uh, you have to look at the confidence interval that appears also here. Here you have the lower limit and the upper limit for the 95% confidence interval. The difference between the mean of B and the mean of A is going to be between 17.15 and 21.39. Since the whole interval is positive, so that means that the mean of treatment B is greater than the mean of treatment A. And I can say that the reduction percentage of lesions with treatment B is between 17.15 and 21.39 greater than in treatment A in average. In the next row, we have the comparison of treatment A and C. Again, the p-value is very, very small, as you can see. So again, we can reject the null hypothesis, and we can affirm that there is a significant difference between the two means. In order to see which treatment is better, have a look to the confidence interval that goes from 12.05 up to 16.22. Again, since we are subtracting A from C, we can say that the mean of C is greater than the mean of A. And according to the interval, the reduction percentage of lesions with treatment C is going to be between 12.05 and 16.22% greater in treatment C than in treatment A, on average. And finally, the last row compares treatment B with treatment C. In this case, the p-value uh, is a little bit greater than before, but again, it is clearly below 0 0.05, so we can reject the null hypothesis. And again, there is a significant difference between mm, treatment B and C. Um, in order to see which treatment is better, uh, in this case, the interval is negative from minus 7.11 up to minus 3.14. So since we are subtracting B from C, we can say that the mean of B is greater than the mean of C. Um, According to the interval, uh, the reduction percentage of lesions with treatment B is going to be between 3.148 and 7.118% greater in treatment B than in C, in average. So, just to summarize, yeah, as we can see, there are significant differences between all the treatments by pairs, and according to this, uh, the best treatment is treatment C. Uh, we saw in the previous plot. Well, this is very interesting because this way we can compare more than two groups and we can not only see if there are significant difference between the means, but also we can quantify the magnitude of difference with the confidence intervals. Okay, finally, part E asks to plot these confidence intervals. Okay, we can plot these confidence intervals in order to compare there graphically. For that, just run again, go to pairwise comparison again, and here, plot the confidence intervals for the means. As you can see here, all the intervals do not contain zero. Uh, remember that zero means that there is no significant difference, so in the three comparison, uh, we can conclude that there is a significant difference between the means. Okay, well, let's, let's move on to exercise two. In exercise 2, it says that to check if there are the difference among the high schools of a city in the training for the selectivity exam, a random sample of students of every school was drawn. Here we have a table with the grades that the students in the sample got in the exam. Okay, well, we're going to load this dataset first, and the name for this dataset is Selectividad. Here we have. This one. Right click and copy to global M. And now you can open it. As you will see, it contains two variables. The first one is la nota, that is in Spanish. I'm going to change this. 
is the grade and the center that is a school well here the school is a factor that contains five levels one two three four five we're going to rename these categories a b c d and e as we have in the exercise statement first of all we're going to plot the means uh, of the five schools as we did in the previous exercise this is part b and remember you have to go to teaching charts and means plot here the variable that we want to plot the means for is the grade and i want to plot the mean for each school so select plot by groups and select as grouping variable school that's it submit and here you get the means with the confidence intervals well now as you can see the differences between the schools are not so clear as in the previous exercise it seems that the best school is school b because the score is higher and it seems that the the worst school is school d since the mean is the lowest but particular between schools a c and e it seems that there is no a clear difference so now we're going to perform in path c the ANOVA test in order to detect if there is at least two schools with a different mean so for that go to teaching parametric test means and ANOVA and here the data set is selectividad the dependent variable is going to be the grade and the between subjects factor is the variable that splits the sample into groups into schools in this case okay then submit and here we get the summary with the ANOVA test and the p-value for the ANOVA test is 0 0.002 so since this value is less than 0 0.05 the significance level that we are assuming we can reject the null hypothesis and um, in this case I can say that there is like enough evidence in the sample to affirm that at least two schools have a different mean in the grade so now the next step is to uh, to compare the schools by pairs in order to see if there are significant difference between them or not for that run again go to pairwise comparison and select pairwise comparison of means submit and here you get a very long table comparing the five schools two by two the first row you have the comparison of school a with b as you can see the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 so there is no significant difference between the great means of schools A and B. The same for uh, the comparison of C of A and C. Uh, the p-value is pretty high. The same for comparison of A and D. The p-value is pretty high. The p-value again is greater than 0 0.05. So no differences. The same for A and E. The same for B and C. And if you have a look to the rest of the table, the only p-value that is less than 0 0.05 is the p-value that corresponds to the comparison of the schools B and D. So only in this uh, case, there is a significant difference between the grade means of the schools B and D. And since the whole interval is negative, and we are subtracting the mean of B from the mean of D, I can say that the mean of B is greater than the mean of D. And in particular, the grade mean of school B is going to be between 0 0.705 and 3.24 uh, points greater than in school D with a confidence level 95% because remember these intervals are the 95% confidence well so finally we can conclude that uh, the only schools where there is a significant difference are schools B and D and there is no significant difference among the others. This is all for this practice. I encourage you to try the proposed exercise, as always. And thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.